All right, Shalom. First off, we want to start by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostle and elders, the great millstone. Honors and salutations to you, brothers, is preaching this word in sincerity and faith. And Shalom to you, sincere followers and believers thereof. All right, so you have um, a couple of the brothers from the great millstone, San Francisco Barrier Area Camp, you know, coming back with another uh, in transit on the way to camp. All right. I'm the brother uh, Yari Yala. Brother Shamar. Yeah, we just want the um roll in the spirit. We on the way to um scoop up the brother Manadazak, so he may drop in as well. Alright, on the lesson. You know, we're just gonna roll in the spirit and um touch on you know the current current events. What's hot what's hot right now is what's going on with this whole uh scenario with this with the uh Jake uh George Floyd, you know, the latest of of many uh of, of many scenarios when it comes to um to jake you so-called negroes latinos native americans and um encounters with with the uh law enforcement ultimately with esau all right you know and and how all this is is all scriptural and with this whole scenario it's pretty much um giving more fuel to the fire of what's of the tension that's already brewing uh in the world let alone center in here in america and babylon the great you know because people are already on edge with this whole pandemic all right with being with being um um locked down restricted from getting out you know doing doing what they're they're they were used to doing all right now then this come along okay see jake was chilling jake was cool you know he, a lot of jakes got to get an unemployment checks they was loving trump they got the um the uh, stimulus, the stimulus check, unemployment. Um, the unemployment. You know they get the stimulus package, little, little, a uh, thousand or twelve hundred dollars. You know, they, they, Jake was cool, and then this happened, man. You know, showing, uh, it's showing you that you, showing you, Jake's man, that you're still, that you're still in hell, man. And it's only going to get, uh, it's only going to get worse for you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Yet it's going to get worse for you, Edomites, as well, man. You know, because the world, the world is is seeing the devil who you truly are. You know, it, it, hey man, Jake's Jake's slow at learning, all right. But but the Lord is going to cause it to click. You know, starting with uh, Judah being a head tribe of the nation of Israel, okay, on down to uh, to Issachar, all right. You know, uh, a race a race war is is definitely uh, going to take place. And what we're seeing now is is the prelude to all that. You know. But um, I just want to um, read this short article, all right? Because it's been a lot of uh, riots, protests going on, you know, in the in the, uh, the the place it happened, I believe, in Minneapolis, and they spread like wildfire throughout these different states. You know, they had in uh, Ohio, uh, a Atlanta, you know, Houston, people wilding out. They had it out here in San Jose LA. last night in Oakland. They had it in uh, 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 L.A., like the brother said. You know, all right. You got Trump making threatening uh tweets you know ordering the um um national, Guard. national guards all right you know and, and really what this is going to spark is uh is martial law and everybody sees it uh sees it clearly man it's going to be a uh, 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 civil unrest 2.0 race war 2.0 all right they're already referring to this as as ferguson 2.0 you know, which I believe that Ferguson whole di or deal with the guy Michael Brown, that occurred uh, around the summertime. I forgot yeah, which year. So. You know, and, and, and what it's 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 hot all over again, man. It's summertime all over again, man. You know, we understand that Esau. A lot of this is propaganda. All right, Esau has a lot of his agent provocateurs. All right, uh, all you see on the news is this whole situation. So. And it show you that, like you said, it's propaganda, like something that they want to push because yep. that other Jake that was in Atlanta that got That's shot broad daylight, like, he got killed by two like regular, not even a police officer, two regular regular Edomites that shot him in daytime. Yeah, and he didn't even get the as much publicity. Yeah, no as coverage. Yeah. So like that shows you that this is like an agenda they're pushing because when he got killed, it was like a little protest just out there in Atlanta though. It wasn't worldwide or nationwide, I should say. This one, when this happened, now you literally see everybody protesting in every state down there. Mm -hmm. So this shows you that it's an agenda behind it. And then in every state that they protest in, they're all doing the same thing, fucking up, just causing havoc. 
Yeah. And like you said, it's all it's all because of these Asian provocateurs. They um, take one person to start it, and they you know the rest of Jake going just follow. Yeah, it, uh, Esau has a thing called uh, problem reaction solution. You know, so he creates the problem. All right, and then there's a reaction. What's going on right now? A lot of protesting, a lot of uh, looting, rioting. Okay, it's starting to form. Okay. And then what, man? He saw comes the solution, which is what the National Guard, martial law, curfew. All right, arrest. Okay, shipping you to concentration camps. All this is going to uh, uh, take place, man. All right, you know, but it's going to be a, it's going to be a, good, a big battle. This is a uh, real quick, and we already understand. Even though Esau is doing this, this is all the doing of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, this is the Lord's credit. All right, performing this on the left hand side, using this devil to press forward the. Uh, the Lord's prophecies, okay? But this is uh, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. At least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Yeah, we're not ignorant of his devices, man. We know that he does um, He does this, all right? He, who you think controls the, uh, the whole little Black Lives Matter thing? Yeah, it's all that funded. Are, it's been exposed. Yeah, it's funded from uh, from from the uh, Amalekite, I believe George Soros, yeah, you know, all these move, all these movements. There was a chick that was actually on Twitter that was calling him out about that. Mm -hmm. And then the, um, the the company or whoever the, uh, you know, the company that actually finances it or whatever, they tried to talk to him, respond back to her and say, say that it's not true pretty much. Cause she called out George Soros. She said, we know that this is all funded by George Soros because the, the police chief out there in, um, in Minneapolis, he said, a lot of people are coming that are not locals that don't even live out there. Yep. So who are those people that's coming out there that's joining the protest? Mainly those are ancient provocateurs that they wearing the mask. They got you know because we already gotta wear a mask. I was hearing somebody else on YouTube mention that it's a perfect setup for them to do that now because since everybody is being forced to wear a mask, face mask now, it's easier to hide yourself. Yep. So you're not looking like a weirdo or something for you being the only one wearing a face mask. Okay. So now everybody gotta do it. So it's easier to slip in the crowd, cause havoc, and then just disappear. Yep. And that's yep. exactly what you see going on. The, pe the protests, like the, um, they start out peaceful, and then what? Somebody, somebody randomly, so called, starts breaking windows or start a fire, and then everybody else they they follow right after. Mm -hmm. It only take one person to start, then the rest of Jay's just gonna say fucking and do the same thing. Cause he saw he, he he's not stupid. He knows what he's doing. And he knows that Jake, Jake are simple, and they'll follow whatever is happening. Like if the masses are doing it, then everybody else is going to go like go along with it. Yep. Because you see, in the same thing play out in every single state that had protests so far, out there. Like you mentioned, out in Houston, they did the same thing almost, like smashing police cars and stuff, throwing stuff at them. Then out in Oakland, what they doing? They stealing cars, blowing stuff up, burning stuff down. And all of a sudden, because like I said, uh, the other Jake that got killed by regular Degla Edomites in broad daylight, you didn't see people burning down the whole city and everything saying, uh, we need to fix racism, this and that. But now, with this Jake that died, this had to be the, the, like, the, the so-called straw that breaks the camel back. Showing you that it's, a, it's really a, an agenda behind it, like you said, it's a, to really to institute martial law. Yep. And then they're gonna turn around and do what? Blame and say it's you niggas' fault. Because mm -hmm. y'all the ones who cause havoc. Just to make everybody hate you. And make it look justified when they do declare uh martial law. That's right, man. Yeah, that's what this devil uh is is all is all about. Alright. But um well I'll bring this out real quick and I wanted to touch on this short article, you know, with uh with with what's going on with, with Trump. Uh, press pretty much putting these troops on the street. You got to remember he already ordered up to a million ready reserves yep. All right for the soils of America, man. They still they still on guard, yep. you know, so how how um, how um, um, Not not coincidental, but how pretty much uh, Reluctant for them for lack of better terms This is um, this is Proverbs 4 16 for they sleep not except they have done mischief and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. Yep, and that's exactly what the elites do, man. They they sleep not unless they cause cause mischief, man. They the ones who made this stuff happen. Yep. All right. They they planned it out. They they don't um they already had like you said they already had stuff ready. All right, because um I have like a while back you know I mentioned how they uh in the CARES Act they were already buying um they were already buying equipment and stuff for riding gear 
before the situation even popped up. They already they already funded the police department with hella money to buy more riot gear, yep, sure more drones and this and that, everything to, to get them more prepared for what? And then this happens out of nowhere. Okay. And then as well, like you mentioned with the National Guard, I mean, the, well, the, the Army of Reserves that's here, they came here supposedly posting the aid, the whole COVID situation. Mm -hmm. And we know that's all BS, but what are they really here for? For like this situations like this, when something happened, they're already here in America, ready to go. They just need that call and then boom, they right there. Yep. Yeah, this is the um this is off of Sputniknews.com. You know, I'll leave I'll leave the article in the description box floor as well. I, I remember. Alright. It says Pentagon increases alert status of some US military units amid civil unrest. Some active duty US military pol police officers have reportedly been ordered to prepare to deploy if local authorities request their assistance. The Pentagon has announced an increase in the alert status of some U.S. military units in order to potentially support Minnesota, which is currently struggling with civil unrest. The Pentagon also noted that some U.S. military units units are now on four hour recall status, though the Minnesota governor apparently hasn't yet sent a request for the support of U.S. troops. You know, and if they're doing it in Minnesota, you best believe they're going to do it in in, um, in the rest of the states that, that follow suit. Yeah. You know, all right. And, and they was also protesting, I believe, what in Washington. Yeah. You know, they all over the place, yeah, man. At the White House. Yeah, they was at the White House. All right. So they're gonna, they, hey man, they gonna, they gonna have these these uh these people on call everywhere, man, ready ready to go. It says at this time there is no request by the governor of Minnesota for Title 10 forces to support the Minnesota National Guard or state law enforcement, the Pentagon said in a statement. One U.S. official said on condition of uh, anonymity that some active duty uh, military police officers have already been ordered by the military to prepare to deploy if local authorities risk, uh, Salaki, if local authorities ask for their help, uh, Reuters noted, uh, notes, the announcement comes as U.S. President Donald Trump said that the military could very quickly deploy troops to Minneapolis to respond to the ongoing protests that were sparked by the death of an African American man named George Floyd. Which we're not, we're not, uh, uh, we're not African, all right. We're not, we're not uh, Mexican, all right. We're not Puerto Rican. We're not Haitian. We're not Jamaican. We're none of those by words, man. We're Israelites, okay. Which, which this man George Floyd. Uh, I would believe him to be a, a Judite, a so-called Negro, okay, of the nation of Israel, all right? Something that this devil is not going to tell you. We have our military willing, ready, and able. We, we can have our troops on the ground very quickly if they want our military. They are using their National Guard right now, Trump said. Yeah, because they're already, they're already on the soil. Trump also uh, berated the, le uh, the radical left, accusing them of staging the riots in question these people are antifa there is a lot of radical left bad people and they've got to be taught that you cannot do this uh, he declared yeah and the bad people are the asian provocateurs that they have sent out there these undercovers all right and they're being called out and they're being uh, exposed okay you know by the uh, uh by these the actual protesters man you know it says in, in a 30th of, uh, of May tweet of his, the president further stated that crossing state lines to incite violence is a federal crime, warning that the federal government might step in and do what has to be done. He, uh, it shows his, his tweet. Crossing state lines to incite violence is a federal crime. Liberal governors and mayors must get much tougher or the federal government will step in and do what has to be done. And that includes using the ultimate power of our military and many arrests. He says, thank you. All right. Yeah. Problem, reaction, solution, man. It says earlier, Trump reportedly asked Secretary of Defense Mark Esper for rapid deployment options in case the situation in Minneapolis spirals out of control. OK. Yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much uh, uh, the gist of it, man. You know. All right. And all this sparked from what? From from one Jake being uh, uh uh being suffocated by by Edomite's uh, knee and it being put on camera and it being uh sensationalized, mm -hmm. okay? Cause you know Jake's man these 
these uh you two thirds you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you're so much you're so you're so much of a zombie, man. You do everything this devil tells you to do. When he tells you to get mad, you get mad. When he tells you to to calm down, you calm down. All right, you react off of what uh, off of, off of what he um off this off this Edomite um 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 pretty much uh, uh narrations, mm -hmm. you know. All right, <clears throat> but guess what, man? This is all according. This is all according to the will of Yahweh Bashem Shai. This is prophecy, man. You know, in Lord's will, this thing don't um, cool down. You know, this is this is uh you got a lot of Jakes. You know, they're talking about man. This this time feels different. All right, this is different, man. This this is a whole. This this ain't this ain't a couple years ago. All right, you know this ain't a couple months ago, man. It's a whole. This is a whole new new time, man. That we're in. You know, tension is is, is very high. Yep. And then this this ain't like it's the first time it's happened. Straight up. Because I was looking at the news yesterday. There's a, a Jake that was speaking about the issue. He was saying like the reason that Jakes are so violent right now. He's like it's, this is like an accumulation yep. of all the different situations that didn't happen the whole time we've been here mm -hmm. he was like so what do you expect like people to do they've been having it happen like repeatedly over and over again and then you expect them to react the same way all the time jake like you said this is like different from those other times because jake is like realizing that just protesting ain't gonna change shit basically yep that's why you're seeing them doing what they're doing they're ready to get violent you see um i forgot where i uh jake's fighting back police when they were trying to arrest certain jake you see video clips of that now, and it's going, and that's what that's why they're going to start really bringing out the national, um, the national guard here, because they actually starting to fight back the cops. Mm -hmm. That's why they had to, they was investing in the right, right, um, gear and all that, because they they knew that this was going to happen. Yep. Yeah, I got this. This is uh, Second Ezra, uh, fifteen and fourteen. It says, "Woe to the world and them that dwell therein." For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. And that's what you see going on now. Yeah, but, yeah, but, All right. But that's what, uh, so, uh, the destruction is on the way here, but you, you, you're just going to see America just be slowly broken down more and more as that destruction is coming. And that civil rest is part of it. You know, along with the economy crashing, martial law happening, the, the market of beasts happening, and everything else happening. The civil unrest is going to be playing a part of it. Yep. And that's what you see going on now. And that's going to, that's going to be a, another excuse for them to uh, to institute martial law. Mm -hmm. And you know, once they institute martial law, you you already don't have your rights anyway, right, as it is now, yet you're really not going to have them then. Because they're going to be able to do whatever the hell they want to at that point. That's right. Yeah, they call it uh, order out of chaos. Yep. It's, it's, uh, you, um you clearly see within the media that Esau has his agent provocateurs in these crowds inciting these riots. Yep. And knowing that, what does Jake do? They follow. You know? mm -hmm. yeah. Jake is always ready to loot and steal, you know. <laughs> yeah. So Esau has his agent provocateurs and it's, it's order out of chaos. He's creating a problem so he can come in with the solution, which is what? Martial law. The time of Jacob's trouble. That's right. Yeah, I got a precept. Um, second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the times diligently in itself. Mm -hmm. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then yep. thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And that's what you see going on now. You know, we measure in the time by seeing, watching what's going on and filtering it through the scriptures. Because the scriptures speak about this, man. You know, uh, like the other brother was just reading that civil unrest you know one people standing up against another and you're seeing that happen in america sedition among men you know a great insurrection with the people man they're they're uh you know mainly our people because what's this what's the scriptures about jacob and esau man mm -hmm. but right now they're they're trying to say that the enemy is the cops I'm like no nah, man it's the, they got it's gonna get to a point to where they say like no it's not just the police it's you so-called white people because yeah. that's what it always is. That it ain't just like it's a random cop all the time. It's always an Edomite. Man. Yeah, they try to say it's a system. Like you got you got these these uh these sellouts. You know these these Jakes. They end up you know the so called the so called black woman, and you know these different sellout Jakes in in positions of of authority. You know mayors or their their figures. All right, their celebrities talking about yeah man. It's, it's not all you know. It's cop and please for for Esau. You know it's it's not all. All Edomites, you know, it's just a, it's a system problem. 
You know, we need to we need to vote because you know the elections are coming up. You know, we need to we need to get the right people in office. No, man, it's always it's 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 always it's, it's bigger than that, man. You know, it's a it's a uh, it's an Edomite problem. Yeah, it's an Edomite problem. Something that came to my mind is during the time of Hurricane Katrina. Yep. When there was no system, so to speak, it was uh, pretty much martial law declared. Mm-hmm. Everybody fending for themselves. You had Jakes going into Edomite neighborhoods for help. You know, for uh, refuge. And what did Esau do? Coming out with his guns, telling telling Jake to get out of here, nigga. Yep. They found uh, bodies with holes just floating around in the, in the waters of Jake. So that show you that Esau uh, has hatred. You know. That's right. He, he's not. He's not for you. Esau is not your friend. You, you so-called blacks, you Latinos, and you so-called Native Americans. And it's not a. Uh, it's not a thing of color, a black and white thing. How he, he paints it to be. It's a. It's a. It's a um, spiritual hate. Yeah. Going back to Genesis the twenty-fifth chapter, it goes back to Jacob and Esau. Yeah. It's, it's a hate. It's a hate. It's a divine hate from the heavens. Yeah. And we were created by the Most High to be adversaries, to be enemies. You know, one uh, one nation is wicked and one nation is righteous. You know, yeah. like it says in the Bible, for one on one set against the, uh, the other, good uh-huh. set against evil. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Back, back in Second Ezra chapter nine verse three, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and that's what you see going on. You already seen in, across the world people um, people protesting and getting violent over like food shortages or whatnot. And out there in France, they've been protesting like shit damn near a year. Yeah, food shortages, uh, 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 wages. Yeah. You know, uh, un- unfair wages. You know, not hey, this whole lockdown shit. People wanted to get back outside. They wanted to get back to work. They wanted to get the hell out the house. They want the economy to open back up. Like the brother said, the food shortages. So they were already, these people were already uh, in an uproar, you know? So this isn't just more fuel for the fire, man. Uh-huh. It says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. we yep. already knew these things was going to happen. Yep. We've, been, we've been speaking about this for like, for years. You know, from our apostles on down. And everybody was looking at us like we were crazy for speaking like this, saying that America was going to collapse, civil unrest was going to happen, Esau was going to take you people's rights away. And you're seeing all this stuff happen now. And now nobody has any, nobody has nothing to say at this point. Uh-huh. It says, for like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Yeah, and that's exactly what's going on now. The end is being made manifest, man, and quick. You know, it's like this stuff escalated like since the year 2020 started, things then escalated real fast. You know, getting real serious. Yeah, uh, yeah. Showing the times that we're in. Yeah, we're we're about to enter. Uh, we we about to pretty much be at the uh, halfway through the year. You yeah. know, next week is gonna be the sixth month of, the, of a twelve a twelve month year, man. And it's been action packed, man. Mm-hmm. You know. It says, uh, even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs yeah we see we see all the signs man where are the signs that we look for the prophecies we see the prophecies happening man that's why the through the spirit the apostle he did this year the year of prophecy man and we're seeing all the prof- prophecies happening right now man they're playing out and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby you have believed. Yeah, and this is how you're gonna escape, man. You're not gonna escape by protesting or, or doing anything else, man. The only way you're gonna escape this this destruction coming here and all the hell coming to America is through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Because you can't deliver yourself. You got niggas over here trying to fight the police and everything like that's gonna bring change. Well, Esau, he got the military. You can't fight back the military. He gonna blow you niggas away. And, and Trump made a statement on the Twitter. He said, um, he said, "Look, when the looting when the looting starts, the shooting starts." <laughs> you know, you know, this thing be sarcastic. The raps. Pretty much, he he throwing it out there like, "Look, we, we gonna send the um, we gonna send the, um, the, the troops out there to blow you niggas away." Yep. Yeah. You know? and, and you know how Esau is with his, his predictive programming. Uh, the first purge. Remember, we went to go see that at the theater years yep. ago. Yeah. The first purge, they showed you that um, pretty much they gave Jake five thousand dollars to uh to participate in the purge. 
And so in Jake's mind in the movie, they were just gonna chill, let the night be over and then get the money. What did Esau do? He sent in his mercy, he sent in his agents dressed up as uh, clans members, yep. dressed up as different um, people with masks on to start it up, you know? Yeah. To get it to get it popping so he can roll on um uh, on roll and eventually Jake was forced to fight, you know? Yep. So they, they show you in these movies not by uh by accident. Esau is gonna have his agents in these crowds um starting um starting things up, starting trouble so to speak, and to get Jake riled up and caught up in it. So what now getting now Jake is being drugged to a concentration camp. Yeah. Now niggas is, is you know, ultimately it's all part of the prophecies. Yep. It says, uh, and everyone that shall be able, and everyone that shall be saved, and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, where, whereby ye have believed, yeah. shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them from me from the beginning. Yeah, and this is how we're going to be delivered from these sad perils to come, man. All right, we're not gonna be out there participating in all all this BS that Jake doing. We ain't got there protesting and all that. No, man, what are we doing? We bringing out the words of Yahweh Hashem Shai, man. All right, and walking in the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai because this is how we're gonna be delivered from all these sad perils that are gonna come to, come to pass, man. Because when Jake out there, Jake not even considering the fact that Esau could just blow them away at any moment. You out there just looting, breaking everything, burning stuff down. You thinking that you. Like you all like you know big and bad so to speak. When Esau he could just send out the National Guard to literally blow you away and he ain't gonna blink at it. Which is which is get is coming to that point. But right now, cause Esau could easily stop these niggas from looting. He wants them to um yeah. He wants the uh at the uh the, the, the chaos violence, yeah, the, vi the chaos and the violence to escalate so he can be justified in bringing in his um his um his National Guards because they're already in place. Remember yep. during the time of the COVID nineteen they were actually mobilizing and getting it um getting in place mm -hmm. you know and when all this stuff been going down and dang near every state you notice that it wasn't really no cops out there like that mm -hmm. they even mentioned it on the news they was like yeah the police haven't been here da 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 well any other time jake get called for like uh domestic violence or or for, or uh you doing some other little minor baby crime you saw it there in like 10 minutes five minutes, minutes flat uh -huh. but where where is that set now so they, like you said, that's why they're they're not showing up to let Jake build up that bad look. So you keep on looting and destroying shit for days, and then he gonna just come out of nowhere and saying like, "See, this is why we gotta do this." Uh -huh. Who's the face? Who's the faces they putting out there? Is Jake? Mm -hmm. All all the pictures, all the videos, yep. which which you have Esau in in um in disguise. They got footage of an actual cop that people have known in the area dressed up uh, breaking windows. Yep. And, uh, and spray painting graffiti because they said. Um, when you see broken windows and graffiti that sparks something in your mind, I forget, I was watching a video on it. it, it pretty much puts the spirit on people to want to uh, riot. And they say you had Jake's coming in the city and you got piles of bricks just sitting on the side by the courthouse. <laughs> just easy acts on y'all, you got bricks to break windows. He saw setting it all up, you know? Yeah. And, and you got Jake's uh, storming the White House when it's known that you could drop, you could throw a frisbee on the line of the White House and they have the, um, the, um, yeah, the, the troops, troops out there. Out there. I mean, you, you can't just roll up on a White House like that. You got Jake all on the line inside the, uh, breaking the windows. They, they let them niggas do that shit cause they have, so they can be justified. See, we got to stop these looters. We got to stop these thugs, like Trump said. We got to yep. get these thugs out of here. Which the thugs are you niggas. Yep. Yeah, uh, you was, you had some more on that? Yeah, that was it. Yeah, I got this. This um, Because really... You know we're we're protesting another way, man. We're making our we're, we're making our petition to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know that's who we're that's who we're seeking to see. See Jake's man, they they don't get it. They keep they keep trying to cry out to this damn devil for for a change, for justice, for 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 equality. You know all the things that you're not going to get from the devil, man. All right, and really that's just going to lead to your further further uh, destruction, man. You know this is uh. Isaiah 30 and 1, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover what they cover him, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not acts at my mouth, to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt, with, which is um, uh, Revelation 11 and 8. This is the modern day uh, Egypt. You know, this is spiritually uh, Sodom and Egypt. You know, 
And our people, our people are still in that in that spirit, man. Showing you that their hearts never left Egypt with um with Esau being the modern day Pharaoh. Alright, they're very they're 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 fully dependent on this devil for everything. Alright? You know, this devil tells them to jump, they ask how high. You know? Alright? So so they still after all this all this hate and uh, uh and betrayal that this devil has shown our people, they still they still see have some some form of hope in, in him, man. You know? So the Lord said, uh destruction unto you two thirds. Cause hey man, really this is the Lord using using Esau, his sword, to really to, to uh to prepare to prepare to uh to slaughter you, man. It tells you in um in Ezekiel, you know, that sword uh being Esau is being furbished, man. Alright? See all this is being all this tension, they're letting all this shit build up so that they they're gonna come in, man. At Revelation twelve and twelve. Uh -huh. Jeremiah thirty and seven. Daniel the twelve, twelve and one, man. Alright? It says, uh, verse three, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in, in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Yep. Yeah. So, so this is going to be, uh, this is going to lead to you, Jake's, uh, 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 further confusion and destruction, man. All right. You're not going to know what the hell, what the hell, well, Jake still don't know what the hell is going on to this very day, man. Mm -hmm. Why are they still killing us? You know? Why they loving our culture, but they hate our people. This, that, this, that, and the third, man. It's because you're of the nation of Israel. You're the Israelites, man. And, and it's because they're the devil. Mm -hmm. they're, your, they're your enemy. They're your mortal enemy. That's right. It's an ancient hate. Yeah, man. And it's always going to be like that way. Mm -hmm. Goes back to Cain. Cain was the first murderer on the planet Earth. Cain, what, killed his brother Abel. Yep. Fast forward in time, they came back as what? Jacob and Esau. Jacob said what? Uh, after his father, uh, Isaac, had went on to the spiritual where he said, now will I slay my brother Jacob. That ain't that hate that he had for his brother for supplanting mm -hmm. him for that birthright and supplanting him for um, and, um, the blessing, you know, getting that blessing. Yep. Because ultimately, ultimately, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, has promised us a kingdom. We are being um, promised a glory and power. And Esau was created to what? Be our slave. And your top international banking families, they know this, but your average everyday Edomite, they just have a hatred. They don't know why. Oh, I hate this nigga. They don't know why. But it's an ancient hate, you know? Yep. So it's always going to be, there. there is no us getting along, us marching, us being friends. We are mortal enemies. And the only way we're going to be uh, uh, cool, so to speak, is when we can have our foot over their necks. When they're, when, they're, when they're put under us, you know? That's right, man. That's what the Heavenly Father created them to be. They're there to shit on the bottom of the shoe. You know? Okay. They're no they're nobodies. And Jake gotta stop having it in his mind to want to be equal to a fucking nobody. He's he's the shit on the shoe. You know? That's right. And that's it. Yeah, I'll, I'll close it out on this last scripture, you know. Cause ultimately, man, we're we're um the Apostle Tahara, he uh he did a lesson responding to a comment. We're we're in the time of Jacob's trouble. We we've been in that time, man. Yeah, we're about to, we're we're entering the bitter end of that man, and and the uh, the end of that is gonna is gonna uh, is gonna lead up to a, millions of Israelites being brutally put to death, man. You know, this is uh, Daniel twelve and one, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince that standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble. You know, the time of Jacob's trouble. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, such as never was since there was a nation. Even to that same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. You know, like the brother was reading in Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, you know, those being uh, 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 saved and delivered uh, through their faith and their works. Ultimately, it's all about the elect, you know, the one third, those who were predestined to, uh, to, uh, to be delivered from all, from all these set perils, you know, from all these events that are uh that are uh getting ready to uh, to hit the earth all right you know but as far as you two-thirds you're gonna you're gonna die you're gonna die uh whether it's the famine as it says in jeremiah the 15th chapter all right whether it's the animals these beasts okay you know do these wars all right you know you're gonna get some edomites that you ultimately you're not gonna make it a lot of you jason gonna take the rfd microchip you're gonna conform to this devil and work and take take the chip worship the beast you're going to die, man. All right. Yet, ultimately, man, this is all the signs of 
of Esau's society going down, man, you know, and the kingdom being uh, established, you know, Yahweh Shai uh, returning, man. The chariot sightings are increasing, you know, and things are heating up. Esau is seeing all this and and he's bugging, he's bugging out. All right. And he's he's making he's making uh he's making moves out of out of fear, man, you know, and out of lack of time. All right. So, uh, yeah, with that, hopefully this uh, this lesson was edifying. You know, brothers, brothers, uh, stay on your watch, man. The Lord, the Lord is is moving. You know, Yahweh Shai is returning. This devil is making is making moves and being exposed as well. You know, and hey, man, the Lord, the Lord has his his servants uh, covered, man. You know, so with that, we're gonna go ahead and close out, giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakhakodash. Until the next one, we're gonna say Shalom to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.